Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Elias, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some Facebook advertising. Uh, with me in the audience, I have my fiance Emily, my future father-in-law who will be manning the camera, and my future mother-in-law. So, let's get started. How many people here use Facebook on a daily basis? Me. Everybody. Uh, how many people use it just for the games and like the basic common posting on people's walls and things like that? Me. Okay. Well, Facebook actually offers a lot more than just the social aspect. Um, according to Craig Smith, more than 1.3 billion users are using Facebook on a daily basis. And Aaron Smith says that 57% of Americans uh, actually use Facebook. So it's a really large market to, uh, to reach out to, to get your brand across if you're trying to market yourself or for your company, um, like I'm doing in my advertising field. So it's a huge, huge audience to reach. Um, my experience with this, I actually work for an advertising agency, like I said. And I deal with Facebook advertising on a daily basis with 12 different clients at the same time. So I, I, I tinker with this all the time. I'm always looking at the best practices, researching into that, just trying to find the best ways to, to get these uh, different messages across to this huge audience. Um, the overview, I'm just going to talk to you guys about how to create the ad, how to access it, how to set up a budget, and uh, how to set up the bidding and the pricing. So first, um, as you can see, if you go to the top of your Facebook screen, as soon as you sign on, you'll see this toolbar at the top. So a little bit over from where your name would be, there's going to be a little drop down arrow, and a menu will come down, it'll just say create ads. So that's what you would click on. And once you click on that, uh, this, this screen will come up, which is probably the most important. It's where you define your objective for the campaign. So if you want your campaign to generate more clicks to your website, if you have a website you're trying to promote, uh, you would click this just to see because it would tell you how many clicks you actually got from that particular ad to your website. Um, but the most common one is to promote your page, and that tells you how many likes you're receiving on your page from these ads. So clients really like that. Um, they like to have more followers, because generally that means more leads. So uh, that, that's typically what they go with. Um, the creation of the ad itself, I don't have that on here, but um, you, you just put on a picture. Um, you don't want to have too much text on the ad because Facebook actually cuts you off at 20% of the picture. It can't be more than 20% of the picture has text. Uh, and Rocco Bavasari says 600 by 315 pixels is the ideal image uh, size to put on there just because it shows up best on news feeds and um, you don't get as much pixelation. It, it comes up a lot better at those particular pixels. So the next, after you defined what your objective of the campaign was going to be, you move to the targeting screen. And this is where you really define who you want to reach with your campaign. So you can go from uh, location to gender to relationship status, um, interests, and even behaviors. Um, so if you're dealing with a restaurant and you want to have people who want, you want more people to come to your, web, to your restaurant, you would do interests, um, foodies, or people who like fine cuisine, cuisine or Italian food, things like that. Um, and Jennifer Beast even says it's, it's just typical to start big and then narrow down from there. So if you start with the United States and then you decide, okay, I just want to do people in Youngstown, you click on Youngstown, maybe plus 25 miles. So in a 25 mile span, that's who it's going to reach with these ads. And it'll only go after those people that you tell it to. So it's really, really nice there. And even on the side as well, it has a scale which shows you how specific or how broad uh, your ad is going to be based on what you've typed in for your targeting. So if you have just United States and men and women, your audience is going to be typically pretty broad. Um, but once you start moving down to all the different interests, and if you put like only 18-year-olds, 18-year-old males who like food and are single, your, your audience is really going to be defined then, and you're really going to reach the people that you want to reach instead of just sending it out to a bunch of different people at once. Next, uh, we move to the budget. So this is how much you're willing to spend, um, and that, that just goes on how much what you expect out of your campaign too. So if you want, you know, fifty thousand likes to your page, fifty dollars over the course of the month isn't going to do that typically. Um, so that, that's you have to have that in mind when you're trying to decide uh, what you want to do with your campaign. So there's two different options you can choose from. There's a lifetime budget and a per day budget. Uh, the lifetime budget is essentially putting in X amount of dollars that you want to spread across. A certain amount of time. So if you want to spread across two hundred dollars for a month, you just put that in under lifetime budget, and Facebook does the rest. It'll evenly split across, split out the uh, the the cost over the course of the month. Um, so you don't even have to worry about it at that point. 
uh, the per day budget is what you're willing to spend per day. So if you want to only spend $10 per day, then you would put that in and then put the dates that you want in as well. Um, it's common mostly for clients to just do the lifetime budget. Uh, they like to know that they're only spending X amount of dollars over X amount of time, and then you can get the analytics for that and see how successful um, the campaign really was. Uh, and John Loomer says, without an established presence, proper expectations need to be set for your client. So like that goes back to what I was saying. So if you have expectations of getting 50,000 likes, uh, you're not going to want to only spend $10 over the course of a month. That's just not going to cut it. So you have to really understand what you want to accomplish with your campaign. Finally, move to the bidding and pricing section. Um, this is where you decide how you want to reach your audience. If you want to reach them through impressions, clicks, and the likes. So if you want to show up, if you want your metrics to show up as how many likes you got for X amount of dollars. So if you wanted to say, okay, you spent $100 this month, how many likes did I get? If it's 100 likes, 100 divided by 100, you get it's a dollar per like. And again, that's, that's a typical one. Um, and you can do it by impressions too. And it's usually the CPM, which is cost per mil. And not million, it actually means 1,000 in Latin. So every time you get 1,000 impressions, um, then it'll say, you know, if it costs $10 to get 1,000 impressions, then it's $10 per CPM. Um, and then after that, it's pretty simple. You would just go and place your order. Uh, you would go through a review process with Facebook. Um, and they would, uh, they would either decline it, whether based on your ad. So there, there's just some guidelines you have to follow. Um, you can't have like guns or violence or obviously have nudity or anything like that in your ad. So they just have to do a quick look through it to make sure that you're following those guidelines. Um, and then, yeah, and once it gets approved, then it's good to go and you can follow it uh, just by going to manage ads, which is back at the home screen next to where it said create ads. And then you can just follow along how it was going throughout the entire month. So in conclusion, Facebook offers a lot more than just the simple paste, posting on people's walls and Candy Crush and things like that. There's so many more opportunities for users, um, clients and businesses to market themselves um, or market other people like I do with agency. And uh, so it's, it's a lot more than just playing around like most people do on Facebook. And then and also many other social media platforms offer are starting to offer the same thing. Twitter's offering like promoted posts and uh, Instagram as well. So it's, it's a growing market and um, it's just something that advertisers definitely need to be a part of. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> That's all.